Ready? Oh boy, I am Y. Because I want to find the variance of this discrete probability distribution. Okay, it's the one that we saw in our last example when we were finding the expected value or the mean mu of this discrete probability distribution. Yes. So I'm up here. We saw that our expected value was the sum of x, p of x. What is that? That's the product of the value times that guy, um, the probability. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to go through and we're going to find the variance. And here's how. The variance is um, the sum of the x's squared p of x minus that guy. Here, this is your mu. In um, the previous problem, our mu turned out to be 2.3. Yeah, fantastical. I think it was about babies. Yeah, anyway, let's keep going. Um, um, I need to find the squares of these guys. Yes, that's my phone ringing again. Unprofessional. Yeah, the squares of these guys, one squared, let's find x squared. Yes, one squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is a game you used to play when you were young. Big red ball, four squares, try to bounce it past people, right? Every once in a while, hit somebody in the face on accident, of course. Let's go through. Let's find that. Sum of x, p of x. Why? Because we're dealing with this variance, the variance of x. This is going to be the sum of the x's squared, p of x, the probability of occurrence, minus um, the average squared. So, k. Okay. Ready? 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 Uh -huh. So then, I'm going to take 1 times, might as well get all fancy here, 0.25. Yes. Plus 4 times its probability of occurrence, 0.3. Oh, plus point, nope, plus nine time, point three five, plus sixteen times point one oh, and then I'm going to take my average squared or 2.3 squared. Now it's been my experience that this is where people goof up, this is where people miss points, this is where people forget to subtract off, they get all excited that they remembered this sum of the probabilities times their squares that they forget to subtract off the average. Okay, finish him. Let's go, let's pound this out. I'm gonna employ the use of an old friend, this TI. Mm-hmm. It knows a lot about math. Ah, oh, geez, phone, come on, really? Um, square, 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 bam. Oh, so then this is gonna be 6.2 minus blue. You my boy, blue. Ready, ready, ready? 2.3 squared. I know, lame, should be doing it in my head, right? Um, five, two, nine, uh-huh. And the difference is, oh boy, lazy, 0.91. And then that's the variance. Extra bonus. How are you going to find, how are you going to find the standard deviation given the variance? Mm-hmm. You know that your standard deviation is the square root of the variance. That's not a V. But that is the variance of x. Yeah, so this is going to be the square root of 0.91. Finish him. 0.9539-ish. Box and flower. <laughs> you get one too. Thank you.